Here at Akiba Academy for the 50th anniversary of John F. Kennedy's death, we have interviewed several teachers about where they were when they heard this terrible news. Here are the interviews. What were you doing during this treacherous time for our country, in America? I was in the cafeteria. I'm pretty sure um, it was the Hillcrest High School cafeteria, and nobody believed it. Everybody thought somebody was making a terrible joke. So some people were silly about it and, and making fun of the joke and so forth. And then we figured out, I'm not sure exactly what happened, the teachers came in and we heard that it really was real. Okay, I was in junior high in eighth grade and in the hallway and we heard a rumor that the president had been shot. And so we all got really worried and excited and nervous about it. So we. Went to class to verify. Mile, the honors biology, actually, at a um, Tulsa. Let me think. A Tulsa. I think it was junior high back then, and um, it came in over the intercom, and we were on oh. the day of JFK's assassination. I was in my eighth grade general math class. My professor at the time happened to be Colonel George L. Petrie, who was a colonel in the military so he was deeply saddened by what happened but I clearly remember that day I remember exactly where I was my daughter was one year old she was sitting in her high chair at the kitchen table and I was giving her her lunch when I heard what happened with President Kennedy that's where I was and I'll never forget it. Gone through your mind when you heard this news. I was stunned. I mean, you can't believe it. And I know, I remember going home that afternoon and my mother had it on the TV and Walter Cronkite was talking about it. It, it was a, a terrible time. We watched the funeral dirge and Jackie Kennedy with her two children. I mean, everybody cried and cried and cried. At the time, I don't remember thinking really that I was ashamed of the city. That happened when I got older, that Dallas for a long time had a terrible reputation and that's what people thought of when they said the word Dallas. And I remember being very ashamed that, that something like that would have happened in our city. I felt shocked, obviously, but also very worried because this was a very popular president and my family had supported him and we thought I was that he was a teenager at the time. I think it, it was, well, everyone was crying in my class. Uh, being a teenager, I had finally gotten interested in the government and felt like um, he's the only president I really knew. And I knew what he was trying to do, especially to help equal rights. And I think it mattered, mattered a lot in Louisiana. And that's basically what I remember. in a state of shock. I couldn't believe it. Those things don't happen in the United States. How could that be? And I thought Kennedy was such an amazing president. I felt like he was bringing things to us that we needed. My next door neighbor was there at the parade. It was just totally shocking that this should happen to someone like President Kennedy. That this should happen in the United States of America because we're a peace-loving nation. We're a place where people learn to solve problems without killing each other. That's what I thought. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.